much, ladies and gentlemen. That tune was called Whispering. It was a big hit in 1920 for Paul Whiteman and his orchestra. And of course, that is the, one of these songs that is presented on that famous series, Boardwalk Empire. Of course, tonight we're doing our own Broadway empire, celebrating the empire of that nefarious impresario, Nucky DeMille. Let's hear it, Nucky DeMille, who, uh, who runs this place. Of course, naturally, it's a front for his uh, illegal mahjong uh, trade. And, uh, and of course, uh, we, we meet him. Of course, he seems like a nice fellow, but underneath, a sinister, sinister plotter, only to meet his match by machine gun Johnny Holiday. later, will be arriving later on today. Of course, he kills him with his singing, or does he sing him with the killing? I don't know, anyway, we're, uh, we're very glad you're all here for our 1920s sh uh, show. We'll now present to you a, a tune that was considered the very first uh, recording, jazz recording outside of New Orleans, and was recorded right here in Los Angeles, California, by Kid Ori in 1922 for the mysterious and little known Nordskog record label. It was recorded here on, on, in Santa Monica, and we're gonna play for you a transcription of it. And for those of you who are not familiar with the 1920s, it's not all Charleston, it's some of the early stuff, it's kind of more ragtime. So the dance floor is open for your ragtime dancing. Here we go with, with uh, Kid or uh, Kid or Kid's Creole trombone. Thank you. 
Thank you, everybody. Kid Laurie's Creole Trombone, recorded here in Los Angeles in July of 1922. We're going to feature now a, uh, oh, uh, of course, we'd like to mention our trombonist. In place of Kid Ori, who cannot be with us here today, Mr. Jim McMillan on the trombone. I was afraid that slide was going to knock that uh, NBC microphone off, but fortunately, you don't have to pay for it this time. Very good. And now we're going to play something that was recorded by a gentleman whose band played in a very popular ballroom that was literally across the street from where we are right now. It was right there in the corner, and it was called the Cinderella Roof Ballroom. It's where that big bank is now, right now. And it was one of the most popular dance halls in Los Angeles in the early 1920s. It opened in 1921, and uh, it was um, a ballroom up until the mid-30s, and it became something else. It was destroyed, uh, torn down in the 1960s. But for a while there, it was uh, fronted by a gentleman by the name of Herb Weedoff, who was the brother of the famous imp saxophone impresario, or, uh, virtuoso, Rudy Weedoff, and we're going to do a, a, a song that he recorded called the Cinderella Blues in honor of the ballroom. I'm, I'm sorry, is it Cinderella? Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to do the California Blues from 1923, so here we go with Herb Weedoff, the Cinderella Roof Ballroom. The California Blues from 1923. Now going to feature on the microphone is Kara Morrison to sing for you a song that is perhaps her, her theme song. Let's call it her theme song. 
It was originally recorded by Vaughn DeLeith in 1924. This tune is called Nobody Knows What a Redhead Mama Can Do. Listen to me, let me give you some advice. Don't trust red-headed gals, even though they may seem nice. Though I'm red-headed too, what I'm saying is true. If it is safety you desire, don't play around with fire. Cause nobody knows what a red-headed mama can do. I do, I do to you. Give her a heart made of rock, she'll break it in two, two, right in two. There's no doubt that she's got a conscience and a mind. But when she steps out, she leaves them both behind. She can draw rings round a girl like Louisville. I do. She can make a blue beard feel mighty blue, so blue. Now you take a woman who is red-headed. If you've got what she wants, she's gonna get it. Cause nobody knows what a red-headed mama can do. If you linger too long, you might burn your fingers Cause nobody knows what a red-haired mama can do Nah, I say nobody knows what a red-haired mama can do I do, I do to you She can make a blue beard feel mighty blue So blue Now you take a red hat, look out there, stranger, cause anything red is a sign of danger, cause nobody knows what a red and mama can do. I said, do. Karen Morrison, nobody knows what a redhead mama can do, and how. And how? Well, how about another song, Red? All righty, very well. Here's a song recorded by Marion Harris and a uh, tune called The Blues Have Got Me. Beyond the go, the blues 
blues have got me. The blues have got me. Classics are great for the highbrows who pray for it. It's not in my line. Jazz up to date now. I'll say I'm a slave for it. The kind that makes a horse throw away his hay. Hey, a baby grand is grand, but grander is a low down instrument. A trombone kills me. A banjo thrills me. And when a cornet goes ooh. No F answer, but so maybe I'm what you call a single patriotic baby. I'm off my nut about the strut, the blues have got me now. A wicked saxophone could make me wrong. The blues have got me. I don't know what it has, but the blues have got me. Classics are great for the highbrows who pray for it. It's not in my line. Jazz up to date now. I say I'm a slave for it. The kind that makes a horse throw away his hay. Hey. A baby grand is grand, but a banjo kills me. And when a cornet goes ooh wah, I'm in for the night. My music, no F answer, but or maybes. I want you to call the sink a patriotic baby. I'm off my head about the strength the blues have got me now. Care Morrison. Should we be back later on in the evening? I'd like to draw your attention to a, uh, an, an event that's occurring later on. Next month, actually next month begins tomorrow, so uh, on October 25th, I believe it's the 25th, we're going to have a celebration of the 90th, the 90th uh, anniversary of the opening of the Egyptian Theater in Hollywood, California, a great movie theater on Hollywood Boulevard, right near Highland, and they're, uh, they're going to have a masquerade ball, and the theme of course is uh, the ancient Egypt, of course with the theater being founded about the time of the craze of King Tut and the discovery of his tomb. So in honor of that, we're going to play for you a selection that was, that was composed that very year, 1922, called Khartoum, written by a gentleman named Christian Marcus and was arranged by none other than the eminent American composer William Grant Still, and he was doing a side job at this time, uh, <laughs> arranging for dance bands. So here we go with the Egyptian foxtrot entitled Khartoum from 1922.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do some more Egyptian-themed songs later on in the evening. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a dance, still very popular in the 1920s, and we're talking about the tango. Tango, a big hit way back in 1914, and stays popular to this very day. We'll play for you a song that was recorded, that was uh, composed by Isham Jones and Gus Kahn. It is Isham Jones. And from 1924, this song is called Spain. Thank you very much, Spain. Isham Jones and Gus Kahn. This next selection was recorded by the drummer Ben Pollock and his Central Park Orchestra. And in this particular band in 1926, he had such young players as Benny Goodman, Gene Krupa, and Glenn Miller. They're all side men just starting out in their first jobs. And so here they are in New York City playing with the great Ben Pollock and his Central Park Orchestra. He recorded this tune called He's the Last Word and it featured a pair of sisters named Dorothy and Hannah Williams. And they were a, a, a vaudeville group that sang and danced and they recorded this song called He's the Last Word along with Ben Pollock. And in lieu of the Williams sisters who could not be with us tonight, we'd like to uh, bring on board, in addition to Kara Morrison, please welcome Jennifer Richardson. Here we go with He's the Last Word.
He can't talk, but I don't move like hog. He's the last word. He can't dance, but for real romance, he's the last word. I know he's meek and quiet when there's a crowd about. But he's a red hot lion. Da -da 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 he starts slow, but when he starts to go, he's the last word. He can't recite, but for holding tight, he's the last word. When we're out in the open air, the girls can't see how I learn to care. But they should get him in an easy chair. He's the last word. Thank you very much. How about another song by Karen Jennifer? How about it, folks? They love you. They really love you. Now, here's another song that was recorded by the, the Williams sisters, and it's called Sam the Old Accordion Man. Ready? Like 
Morrison and Jennifer Richardson. Thank you. Incidentally, one of the Williams sisters, uh, Hannah, went on to marry the great prize fighter Jack Dempsey, and they were married for about nine or ten years. Little fun fact for tonight. As I mentioned earlier, there was a, uh, a great saxophone virtuoso by the name of Rudy Weedoff. Extremely popular in the 1920s. His, his style was imitated uh, very much throughout the country, throughout the world. And we're going to play one of his songs that goes all the way back to, I believe, 1920. The, and this is what, 1922. This is one of his uh, signature pieces. It's called Saxophobia. And we're going to feature our, in, because Mr. Weedoff cannot be with here, us here tonight, we're going to have Jeff Nudell play the solo. So here we go with Saxophobia. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Nudell. Yes. Saxophobia. And in case you were wondering, that sounds like Benny Hill music. It actually is not. Actually, that song, Yakety Sax, was uh, composed in, what, recorded in the late 50s by Boots Randolph. And that's the actual Benny Hill theme. But obviously he took, took inspiration from Rudy Weedoff. Next, we have a slow blues for you right now. This is recorded, recorded by one of the great and unknown black bands of Los Angeles. And this is the, uh, led by the drummer named Curtis Mosby. And this is Curtis Mosby and his Blue Blowers. And they performed in many, many clubs in Los Angeles, including, including the world famous Vernon Country Club. That was the place to go in the early 1920s. Yes, Vernon. That's because Vernon, yes, the great city of Vernon. The reason being was because the, uh, the prohibition laws were not as strictly enforced in Vernon as it was in Los Angeles. 
So they were able to get a, a, a pass on the nightclub there. Culver City was also a good loose town, as it were. Not that it isn't anymore. Anyway, Sir Cur Curtis Mosby and his Blue Blowers from 1925. This is called the All Night Blues. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The great Curtis Mosby and his Blue Blowers band from 1925. And now, let's see. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring to the microphone a special guest. And I believe she comes from a band by the name of uh, Sweet Sue and her Society Syncopators. Oh, where is she? Oh, Miss Fleischer. Oh, yes, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Miss Jody Fleischer. Thank you very much. I'll do a couple of my favorite songs from my favorite movie, Some Like It Hot. First one's dedicated to my mama. It's her birthday, and she's still running wild. And I hope you are too. We 
broken heart. You know who you are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Miss Jody Fleischer. What? I'm sorry, what was your mom's name? Ro Roma. She's right there, the birthday girl. Roma, happy birthday, happy birthday. And of course, you know, she, she called us up and said, we would like to sing for you. It's a surprise. Were you surprised? Very, very surprised. She, uh, she also is a uh, Marilyn Monroe impersonator, in case you didn't know that. So if you need a Marilyn for your party and for other sundry events, please t contact her. Once again, Jody Fleischer, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what, while we're on the subject, um, we have a number of birthdays here and we're gonna name them off and we're gonna sing happy birthday to all of you right now. Of course, we mentioned Roma, of course, Roma. We also have, and please forgive me if I've mangled your name, Antronic, Antronic, you turned 80 years old, Anna, her 90th birthday, Anna. And there we are, there he is. There's more? Okay. Yes. 
Yes, Anna Tremek. Yes, Anna Tremek. Here we go. Anna Tremek turned 80. Uh, yes. And we also have Adriana. Adriana. There we go, Adriana. And Hiroko. And Hiroko. Hiroko. There we go, Hiroko. Happy birthday. She's on the phone. Are you on the phone? You're not on the phone. Okay, very well. Uh, Francesca. Francesca. Yay, where? Reagan. Reagan. There we go. Or Regan, sorry. Uh, Zionora. Did I get that right, Zionora? I did? Good. Good for me. Maria. Maria. It's your birthday as well. FYI. And, oh my gosh. Uh, Yoshitoro. Yoshitoro. Yes. Did I say that right? Yes. Or did I go closer? All right. Did I miss anyone? And Roma, of course. A lovely Roma. So, Let's sing happy birthday song. Here we go, ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear everybody on this list. Happy birthday to you. All righty, many happy returns of the day to everyone, every one of you. And uh, we're gonna do one more number for this set. We'll let you know that we do have our album of uh, Devil's Serenade, which is hot jazz from Los Angeles of the 1920s, available for sale in the front desk in the outside lobby. And uh, also we wanna let you know that we do have our, our shows coming up, our special Halloween show, which is gonna be on Halloween, and also our Johnny Holiday program, which is going to be on Friday, August, uh, October 12th. So please look us up and come back soon. We have one more set for this evening, so do not go away. We're going to now finish off with this tune, a hot number from 1924 called Copenhagen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.
Yes, sir, Dean Morris, California Puppies. Thank you, Dean Mora. Thank you, Puppies. Thank you, Karen Jennifer.